Hello everyone, I'm Yu Lei, uh, the International Fellow from China. Uh, thank you so much for your attending and uh, I'm so, so glad I can give my final presentation to you tonight and uh, I hope you will enjoy it. Okay, let's begin. <laughs> Uh, firstly, I want to introduce my uh, country, China, to you. As we know, China is the one of the oldest uh, country in the world, and uh, also it's a large country uh, because it uh, has a large land area, land area at the U.S. and uh, has the largest population in the world. About one in five people is Chinese, and uh, nowadays uh, China has been to the second largest. Uh, uh, economic country in the world, just uh, less than the U.S. And uh, at the uh, forest uh, uh, resource aspect, uh, Chinese government has been to committed to restore and uh, protect the forest. And uh, they hope by the 2020 years, uh, the forest coverage rate can be raised at 25% uh, 20, of the land area. And uh, uh, last year, the Chinese government uh, don't allow to cut down the natural forest anymore. And uh, it's an uh, important reason makes the China become to the uh, timber importing largest country. And, but it's a good place. It's to protect our forest. And uh, yeah, that's it, China. And next, I want to introduce my fellowship program. Uh, in China, I work for the Chinese Academy of the Forestry, and uh, I'm in charge of three forest research centers in my organization. So this time, I want to learn about the research center in the U.S., and uh, I hope uh, can learn the X ones the experience about the research center in the U.S. and uh, hope take the advanced experience to China and to my future work. From Ireland, uh, the U.S. is the first country to start the research center program at uh, 1984 and was uh, abolished by the National Science Foundation. And uh, because of the U.S. government want to keep its leadership in the world and the response to the international challenge. Uh, till now, the NSF uh, has the about uh, 64 research center in the U.S. And the China started to construct their research center about a, a decade later than the U.S. Uh, proposed by the Ministry of the Science and the Technology and the Development and the Reform Commission. There are two departments. Uh, they want to create a bridge between the science and the industry. They want to make the technology service to the industry. Uh, till now, we have about a near 300 research centers in, in China. Uh, from this comparison table, uh, we can find some difference between two countries' research centers. Uh, generally speaking, compared with the US, China research center has uh, the narrow research uh, field and uh, uh, without the international uh, pers perspective. And uh, uh, the funding from the government is less than the US because the number of the research center is so big. We can't support more money like the US to the research center. And uh, from, my fellow from my fellowship, I think we, can, uh, we should learn the uh, experience from the U.S. and with the, with the following four points. The first lay we should uh, expand the research field and uh, keep eyes on the global issue and, uh, uh, and uh, enhance the international competitiveness. And uh, second, the government should increase the funding to the research centers. Of course, after, of course, reduce, reduce, after reducing the uh, low quality and the re reputation research centers. And uh, another important thing should be 
it is the data sharing. And because I think the data sharing not just only awards the reputation, but also uh, repeat, uh, also awards the waste of the so resource. Uh, but now, you know, in China, we don't have the data sh sharing system. No organization or no researcher wants to share the, their data to each other and uh, to the public. It's a big challenge to China now, but uh, I think it's so important. It's, uh, we should achieve it. And finally, uh, Chinese research center should reform their op operation management system. And uh, like the US, they should give more freedom to the research centers and uh, reduce the government guidance and uh, you know, uh, explore a suitable way for research center in China. And uh, I hope, I hope, after 20 years, our research center can be advanced as the Americans. And at, at, at last, uh, I want to thank Mr. Milo, Sarah, Rick, Chandler, and uh, Shadia, and uh, of course my best friend from other countries, other fellows. Uh, it's, it's you give me the wonderful experience. It's you give me the wonderful time. I'm so honored I can take part in our fellowship. I'm so honored to know you guys. Thank you, World Four Center. Thank you, everybody.